I'm Bebo, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Meeple Party. Meeple Party is a semi-cooperative game of puzzle-solving strategy and party-throwing insanity for one to five players. You and your Meeple roommates are throwing a party of epic proportions. Tons of Meeple are invited, and you'll need to work together to complete the objective of the game, which is to make it through the party without stressing out. A Meeple is stressed out if they ever gain a total of three stress. So let's get this party started. Game setup. Players choose whether to play Friday night for a shorter game or Saturday night for a longer game. They then decide how to set up their house. It's easier to put all of the tiles together, but if you want to try something crazy, that's also valid. The base game will come with nine double-sided tiles of these spaces. The kitchen, living room, dining room, bathroom, three bedrooms, a door, and outside. There are tons of combinations with just these nine standard tiles. Each player mat doubles as a room and can be used when not playing with all five people. Each of these meeple colors has their very own exciting personality effects. When the flirt enters a room, they pull one guest to them from an adjacent room because they have a magnetic personality. When the jerk enters a room, they cause one guest to be pushed two rooms away because they're so unpleasant to be around. When the party animal enters a room, they pull one guest from two rooms away to their room because they're so loud. When the wallflower enters a room, they cause one guest to be pushed to an adjacent room since not a lot's going on. And when the cool enters a room, they pull two guests to them from adjacent rooms because these meeples always want to see what the cool's up to. These aren't all of the guests though. When a white meeple is pulled from the guest bag, it's a surprise guest. Instead of adding that meeple to the party, draw a surprise card and see what happens. Surprises mess with the party in both a good way and a bad way. Now, let's keep in mind the objective of the game, for all the roommates to make it through the party without stressing out. Roommates stress out when each player has taken three stress. Roommates accomplish this by taking photos of specific situations at the party. Each time a photo is taken, the party time clock moves forward by one. If roommates can get through the entire party, Friday or Saturday, without stressing out, then they win. However, if they all stress out before that, everyone loses the game together. The game takes place over five phases. Welcome, mingle, avoid, disaster, take photos, and reset. Phase one, welcome. As the host, a roommate will welcome a meeple to the party by pulling a random meeple out of the guest bag. They will then place that meeple into any room at the party and perform their personality effect on that room. For example, if you welcomed a wallflower and then put them into a room with a cool, then the cool would have to move to an adjacent room. However, if you chose to put the wallflower into an empty room, then nothing would happen because it's already empty and the wallflower's ability is to move one meeple to an adjacent room. Phase two, mingle. Then you'll mingle any one meeple at the party by moving them to an adjacent room and performing their personality effect on that room. Phase three, avoid disaster. Check that no disasters have occurred. Check the conditions of the active player's disasters against all rooms. If it's okay, then proceed. And if it's not, then the disaster has occurred and all roommates must take one stress. Phase four, take photos. Now the active roommate can take their photos by checking the condition of the photos against the rooms. Score this by moving the clock forward. Phase five, reset. Check the clock for any events, then draw new photos or disasters if they've occurred. In each game, each roommate has one potential disaster in front of them that they must avoid. When it cannot be avoided, each roommate then takes a stress. It's also important to note that on the active roommate's turn, they can take a stress to get out of a bad situation. They may take one stress to immediately refresh one potential disaster or photo card at the party. Stresses can be induced by surprises, taking the burden to help out, or disasters happening. However, they can be relieved by taking both photos on the same turn, being given surprises, special rooms like the hot tub or office, and special items like the cake or gifts. And this should be enough to get the game to your table. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming.